Hello. Well, this, welcome to my new Let's Play of uh, Alan Wake. I've played this game once before, but I decided to play it again. So, time to get this shit started. New game. You know, I'm gonna play it normal. Existing checkpoint will be overridden. Sure, why not? I forgot the game had three difficulties. I thought it only had two. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal run to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. All right, we're back. Um, I'm honestly not gonna lie. I have absolutely no idea if the pages still appear after I found them in your second game. But I guess we're gonna find out. Wait, look up at the light, okay. Reverse controls, fuck no. Uh, you can change the camera settings in the ship. I'll be destroyed. I'm happy they announced another game. I am not happy that it's a spin-off and on Xbox Live, but I am quite happy that they announced a second game to Alan Wick. I had to go to I the hope it's good. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. I'm sure they have a reason to make it the Xbox Live. Collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Yep, I, I'm almost positive a thermos was here last time, so I'm gonna guess that the least thermoses don't reappear. Can I knock this shit off? Wait, I'm gonna get it. Fuck, I know I'm gonna fall off. Ha, got it. Okay. I can't open it. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Think you're gone. <laughs> gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Are you fucking kidding me? You missed your deadline. You can dodge enemy attacks. Fuck! I can't see the button. Yep, can't can't see the button. You can't stop me. Yeah, get out of here. Dodge it. Successful dodges are sometimes fucked. was a character from the story I've been working on. Sometimes 
some reason the game doesn't seem to be running properly right now. I don't know. Whatever. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Oh boy, uh... The shit's chasing me. I had no idea that was about to happen. Ugh. I have more time than I thought I did. Look at this bullshit. Yep. Fuck, I'm watching the shit behind me this time. That shit's still coming. It's coming inside now. Yeah, I'm gonna run inside. Oh no! Stop! No! Oh, damn it! Die! No! 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 <sighs> I remember the first time I played this, I fucking, I was so pissed I could not figure out what to do. I thought I was about to die. Oh, what he said. And, oh, I misjudged it. Fucking, this is dumb. It just makes you worry that, like, you're about to die, even though it knows that you're perfectly fine. Follow the light. Oh, fuck. I wanted to look up there. I fell down my mistake. Oh, well. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Fuck, my air conditioner started. Time for the tutorial. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Huh, I never noticed that a thing floats to you. Pick up the turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Super slow. Bam. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. I feel like I'm playing L.A. Noir. I'm just watching something going back and forth. A nigger. Okay. Good. You've done well. Remember what I taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Sorry, I said In the, nightmare, the N word. The terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth.
Yeah, perfect headshot. This is it. All right, we're going good so far. Oh, I forgot about these. I remember I noticed like halfway through that they were actually lithium batteries. Even though I didn't get one there, I'm just saying the batteries in the game. Oh. All right, that happened. Oh, look, look at the lone survivor. Not even looking back. I oh, you got to. Get to the lighthouse. Ow, bitch. Fucking Alan just gets. Uh, Alan, Alan Wake has no adrenaline at all. I mean, if this shit was chasing me, I'd fuck. I could run this shit easy. There's a thermos. I know I missed somewhere. Fuck no. Oh, I guess I must have got it. I don't know. I swore there was a thermos there. I missed. Whatever. I probably looked right at it and I didn't see it. Off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. I know that person in real life. They just got online. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Maid, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I never noticed that. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, 
I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Oh, Alan's a dick. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and charge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Gay couple. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Let's see who has the last laughs. Okay. Good day to you too. Look at that asshole. Oh my god, so many people. You know, fuck it. Yep. Uh, I forget how to even do this. Uh, no, it's in, uh. Fuck. Notifications. Show notifications. Fuck that. Alright. Oh, that shit's done pissing me off. It's ruining the game. Here. I want I want her to drive. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. I can understand her driving, but carrying the bags is kind of mean. cabin key from the landlord, a Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Examine. Uh, right. So much for quiet vacation. I wasn't ready to leave. I needed to find Carl Stuckey to get the key to the cabin. Oh, I never knew he said that. Oh, the greatest guys ever. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't It does that, you get stuck. Yeah. yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Yes, that's my favorite tune. 
coconut. Shut your mouth, oh. you demented head. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. I better not get copyright for this. In the coconut, you drink a mojito. I'm in the coconut, you drink a mojito. I better not get caught right for this or I'll be pissed. Oh wait, there's some batteries here. Or maybe that's in the the DLC. I can't run. I swore I remember batteries. Yep, whatever. Alright, I just explored the place a little bit more. Why can't I run? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. He Overeager fans listen. always did. Foreshadowing. I remember this part. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Foreshadowing. Cold Is there anything else? It's a special yeah. place. Very inspiring. Thank you. Nope, can't leave. Okay. I am so happy this could be a leave. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This will be all And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Super foreshadowing. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift it. It's been heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't have to have a bottle of I wish. Anything else? No. Okay. The Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Man, this entire place is like one big foreshadow. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on KBFF. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Stars winking down at you. It gets 
pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. One of the best songs in rock band. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. So, while she worries about that, I'm going to run up this hell. Get to the cabin. There's a car. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, I know Thermos is not appearing again because uh, I know one was right fucking there. Um, anyways, I'm gonna pause it. See you next episode.